What's up, world? It's June the Introvert with uh, What's Happening, Steve? What's Happening, Steve? The Stew Guy. The Stew Guy. Right, what's Happening, Steve? Everywhere. So we're going to uh, start off things with... Uh, Y'all, Jew, man. He came down from Austin to help me with this shit, man. We getting this shit started. We had to start one way or the other in this That's whole... right. That's right. So what's, what you got going on this week? Shit, I've just been recording, making music, getting this shit in order. Yeah. We really winged it, but shit, we here. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. How many... Uh, how many artists you think got potential in in Colleen? Oh, it's just coming off rip with Colleen artists and shit. Yeah. Uh, potential only goes so far, so it's a lot of people with potential. Yeah, you got potential and just chill at the crib. That's true. You know what I'm saying? True. So I don't know. That's a lot true. of people it's, got potential it's and shit. Potential and consistency. You gotta oh, have consistency kind of can both. probably beat potential. Probably. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. That's why you yeah. got like cast that are doing like there the was years I, I just went off my potential and I just got by just regularly. When I applied myself, it was consistent. It was like, oh, yeah. yeah. Stu guy's born. It's, this shit easy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Fuck you got going. Shit. I got uh, some artists that I'm working with. What artists what you work with? I see you posted all that uh, TikToks and the motherfucking uh, the tutorials and tutorials, shit. Yeah. Mic reviews and shit. Yeah, trying this to shit get- live. Shout out your page. What's your page and shit on there? June the Introvert. At June the Introvert on TikTok, Instagram. And uh, those yeah. are the two main ones that I'm Make sure focusing on. I gotta follow on. all that shit, bro. Make beats and do graphics and do videography and all that shit. Trying so. to get a hand in everything. Too easy. Everything. Too easy, ooze. Yep. No, I ain't got shit going on. Just recording music out here. Colleen, trying to help a motherfucker bubble. Trying to win a motherfucking scholarship. So if you were to start a record label, would Ooh. you would you grab up some of the people that you record with? Like your 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 sessions. Like if I had no bread to do you, what I want to do. To yeah yeah yeah. I I probably got like, well, I got a little starting five I could get starting five. I ain't okay. got no full basketball team no more. No. But used to but nah. Talk about five. Is that the is that the goal? Is that the dream? Nah, I used to want to do a label back in the day, and I know more though. Mm. Nah, I'm ready to get about this place. Just yeah. <laughs> trying to put it on the map and just you know what I'm saying. Get up out of here. Yeah. Yeah. A bigger scale, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Rep put, Colleen put, somewhere else. Put Colleen on the map. Basically, oh, so you're trying to do like the I'm trying to be the, somewhere the else, the juicy, Colleen. The juicy J and, yeah. and, and you know, three six mafia. Yeah, putting, well, I'm Colleen forever. You already know that. It's on my neck. It's for everybody know me. So Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, that's not the goal, really. The goal is really just to I don't know, just to have fun and do what I do. Oh uh, yeah. I don't that's want what to it's all feel about. it feel like a job. You know what I'm saying? It start yeah. feeling like a job, you'd be like, yeah. Hell no. Nah, you know what I'm saying? That's why we started to do this so it don't feel like a job. That's right. We're going to have guests on on this whole. I'm have artists, clean artists, all that shit. So y'all be on the lookout. Y'all be ready for that shit, man. So, all right. So let's talk about uh, top five artists that you would want on this show, on this podcast. Mm. Who, who, is, who are your first five that come to mind that you're going to, that man, are going to sit in the seat? It's hard. It, so it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be in order. Just, There's just so five. Because I got five. people I want to do that just have great masterminds. I have people that are just mm-hmm. entrepreneurs. Yeah. And I have a lot of musical people I want on the show, but okay. I, don't, I don't know. I want to spread light on everybody. Yeah. Just I don't know. It ain't just about music on this podcast, but that's the main nice. thing is music. But nice. Well, I, I can't tell you off rip. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get JP on the show though for sure. Hell yeah. I have big JP on the show just because they need to know how. Char- charismatic and shit he is. He's like a living yeah, yeah. cartoon character. You know? Yeah, he'll get on there and he'll uh, take yeah, over he's the gonna fucking take show. Over. It's going <laughs> to be so easy when he's on the show. It's going to be. Yep. Yeah, it's probably, I'm calling it now, it's probably going to be the most viewed episode when, when he get on the show. JP, yeah. hell yeah. Too easy. Shout out my nigga Spook behind the scenes too, man. Shout out to Simply, Spook. Uh, what's, the, what's the clothing shit? Simply clothing. Simple thing clothing. Yeah, my, my bro do the shirts and all that. He do, my, he do all my merch for me. So yeah, we're gonna put all the shit in the descriptions. He's gonna highlight on the Stu Guy shirts. Stu Guy shirts. We got all kinds of merch dropping, man. Y'all can yep. pre-order that shit in the links and all that other juicy shit. Juicy. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, other than that, I'm just trying to stay cool out here. It's hot and clean. It's fucking hot. It's Texas. We in Texas, yeah. by the way. You know what I'm saying? It's a thousand Texas. degrees outside. Thousand degrees right now. We got all these <laughs> lights in here. And if AC blowing snow and we still hot. Fucking shoes is melting on the concrete on the pavement. As yeah. you walk. My slide stuck <laughs> to the ground when I went outside. It just stuck and it just left the ground. It just, just stuck to the ground. So, yeah. Trying to put some new shit on it. Because there ain't nobody doing these podcasts out here in Colleen like That's that. That's right. That's right. So, whenever you told me about this podcast, I was really stoked about it because I really want to talk about the story of uh, Tay-K. Because, uh, because I don't, 
know the story. Like one time you told me, like, oh yeah, yeah. Well, I yeah, never like, told nobody on camera the story. Like, that, that well, I was just I was chance. trying to wait just to like for the right opportunity. So this is it's my platform now, our yeah. platform, so we can do it. Do it, do it. So so, so like my uh, I had this studio on in Colleen. It was at a building. And my homeboy Scotty did like clothes and shit, mm -hmm. like screen print clothes and shirts. You know right. Scotty, yeah. So he do shir shirts and shit. So he would have all the young cats buying shirts, and they'll come to the shop with him doing their own merch and shit. Mm -hmm. So the the cats that did merch, a few of them rap, but they put me on game with him because Ted K would be like hip with like the that wavy ass clothing and shit. I don't know how to explain it. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. So they just was like hey, my youngster got they want to record and shit. I got somebody. There. But the dudes that do the clothes and the fashion put me on them. Shout out Dar, shout out Cosmo, shout out Lee. You know what I'm saying? All the ATW boys and shit. But uh, yeah, they just put me on them and he just booked the session like anybody else. Like, hit me up. And didn't think that anything was going to come up. Bro, <clears throat> it was a summertime. I'm glad we're talking about it being hot. It was a summertime. My AC was broke in the studio. Mm. So, but everybody was coming to me around the city because they fucked with me. My name was just buzzing. So, right. Just because of my sound. So, they were. If you build it, they will come. They were still coming in the summertime, 100 degrees. I had to come to work with a fan every day. Swear <laughs> to God. Came to work with a fan every day. So long story short, he uh, finally pulls up and shit. He books a session regularly online. Boo, boo, boo. DMs me. Pulls up and shit. First time he pulls up, I think we did like three songs in an hour or some shit. We, we smoked a blunt on the balcony before that shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And I was like, shit, how you get up here, bro? We just chilling. I'm just, I could have smoked yeah. inside the studio. I'm just... Just shoot the shit. Right. He like, shit, uh, bro, I'm 16 and shit. I'm like, oh, shit, no shit? Oh, well, shit, I just kept smoking a blunt. I'm like, well, let's go record it, nigga. Yeah. So we go record. He drops some songs. I mix them hoes. I mix them fast. They record it. I mix it. Record it. I mix it. In an yeah. hour, like three songs. He yeah. leave. Boom. He book another session another time. We do like another three or four songs. So, so some time pass, all this other shit. I'm not, I don't think I'm missing anything, but yeah. Some time passed, and then my homeboy, he hit me up. He was like, hey, ain't this that little dude that was at the studio that day? I'm just chilling at the crib. Like, I just got back from the studio. I'm like, this is that little dude that was on the, at the <laughs> studio that day and shit. And so we looked it up, and then that's when he had dropped the race uh -huh. on online and shit. And then uh, all the articles, were, he was everywhere about, like, you know what I'm saying, on the run and shit. It's yeah. just like publicity and shit so did you know the story did you know what he did no i didn't know anything you, so you know like shit? that's a, i'm glad you brought that up so when he's recording and shit i'll be honest with you while he's recording i'm from where we're from a lot of people kick doors and steal yeah. you know what i'm saying they, yeah. don't, they don't rob they don't strong arm they steal they break yeah. your shit and steal yeah. so i was just like oh he's just another youngster that just be stealing when he recording i'm not thinking nothing of it also people be lying yeah. In the studio. So you, there's no there's, I, no. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not paying no attention. This is the internet. You paying me to record you and mix your shit. I don't know what you is. You're a kid to me. I'm whatever right. it is. Like, looking at him, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. he didn't intimidate me. So, I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't care. But also, I didn't care. I'm just trying to make some music. I'm, I'm not saying what he was saying was true or not. In my profession, I've been doing it for so long. People lie and people just, right. I, so I just, so there was I don't no, give nobody the benefit of the doubt. I'm just like, we making music. Right. That's what we in here doing. It's yeah. like wrestling to me as far as I can say. Right. So we just doing music. It's an art form. Yeah. So then I see the shit, he on the race and all that. And I still didn't look into none of that shit. Because every time I looked into it, they said he was with like other people mm -hmm. doing the low crimes and shit. And I still don't want to talk about none of that shit because I don't know nothing about right. that shit. Right. You can't I, speak on it. I just it. recorded that nigga right. and shit. Right. I wasn't even, I don't even know nothing about that shit. So, but, uh, so I just look it up. And then I just go, I, I did not go find his page. I didn't know he had other music. No. I'm like, oh, damn, he had views on, on his other page, on his other videos and shit too, like Mega Man, My mm. Chopper. He had already had a hell of views on them video. That, so, is that before the race? Type shit. He already or had some was type it? of motion. He already had some okay. type of motion. So, and I just seen it now. This is what's crazy. You seen this, the race go from like 1,000 mm -hmm. to like 1,100. So just you wake up, it's like a 10K, 20K, 30K, yeah. 40K, 50K, da, 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 da. Yeah. And a million, million. So I ain't gonna lie, I'm partying every day. He's like, whoa. Right. Man, I'm from the hood. This shit accomplished with me. I record and mix and master this shit quick. And right. people fucking with this shit everywhere. She ended up on Atlanta. Drake done played it on places. Yeah. It should have been played and everywhere. There was like several, hella references. You know what I'm saying? Several remixes with yeah, uh, cats on it. And all that. Like, come where I'm from, you don't get none of that shit. So. Yeah. Man, it sucks he's in jail. We can't get paid. I ain't get paid or nothing like that, but it's all good. So I'm when sorry. did you when did you hear that it went uh platinum? Or when gold first? When did you hear about uh, that? Like what how did you get that news? 
I want to say uh, through the internet, just straight through up the just internet, the classic just... ass, like say cheese and shit, poster shit or something. Okay. Well, I think TK, I follow TK's page. Yeah. Oh, okay. And he, that's they what posted the, 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 the RII or whatever certification. Yeah. So uh. that's when I found that shit out. And then they reached out to me and then I like, I could have kept the songs that I had, hmm. <laughs> but I didn't. And I'm telling you this because you know I, like, I love music. I'm like, Man, I can keep these songs. Right. I can sell them to anybody on earth. Somebody with the most money that ain't going to blow up. I can sell to a dope boy down the street mm-hmm. with all the money, but they ain't ever going to blow up. Yeah. So I just, I, I put it in their hands, they made his manager hands and all that because I'm like, bro, he is. And you got, you got other like gold records yeah, for that. Yeah, no, I, yeah from that one. But yeah. I, I wanted the, his music to go to his people. Yeah. I didn't want to just, it would have just been on my computer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to sell to nobody or nothing. So I just, oh, wanted, okay. I, I just want the other yeah. music I had to go to the right people because they hit me up like, you have any other music? Yeah, I'm for, like, for, man, from TK. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We can work some shit out. And I like, we worked some shit out and I like, got, got the new stems. That's why he did that. That shit with Black Boy JB, mm-hmm. that's the release by No Jumper shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then uh, like a couple of other songs I did. Oh, After You, I recorded After You and shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah them three chops, I, I did that. Them three chops is me. Give me my bread. <laughs> them three stutters. If y'all know what I'm talking about, the stutters and the beat. For fuck a beat, I was trying to, you know what I'm saying? That's but yeah, what's... man, that's yeah, a lot of people always ask me about that shit, but glad you brought it up because I always tell the artist, you too can drop a platinum yeah, record. Like right. It wasn't even nothing. He downloaded the beat off YouTube and the same thing that everybody do. Yeah. So don't be discouraged. So just normal... Pay your producers and shit. And you know what I'm saying? Do it. But when you're coming up, I know how hard it is. So yeah. do what you got to do if you want to gonna blow up and going to blow up across that bridge later. So yeah. but he... A lot of people overthink that shit. Like, how'd it go? Oh, it was a, yeah, it's it's a, a regular, regular day. ass day. Regular ass yeah, day. Yeah, it was just a regular ass day. We recorded. Scotty was at work. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Sonny Banks. Sonny Banks was in there fucking pumping t shirts in that hoe. You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody was there. Like, I don't know. It was just, it was crazy. It was just crazy because it was just surreal. Like, you just, this shit obtainable. Yeah. I was new that, but I was just like, it, it would, just came, it it just would do out. that for it would my first time getting any time of record or anything mm-hmm. would be like that. You yeah. know how, how we came up. It would be some difficult just, loophole. Exactly like, well, I got that, but it like ah mm. still a little tarnished. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The people was, be like, why I, you support Take Hand? I'm like, look, I don't I don't know about none of that other shit. Mm. I got platinum and gold record, double platinum and gold record, you know what I'm saying? Musically. Yeah. And that shit cult classic forever. You forever. know what I'm saying? For like sure. he's forever. He like I ain't gonna compare him to the people I want to compare him to because it's, it's going to get it wrong. I forgot we on the internet, so you got to be politically correct a little bit. Yeah, but yeah, it's just like a cult classic movie or something. It's yep. just that's what it. That's all it is. Yeah, you know, and what people saying? will forever, you know, listen to that song and just be like, that's "Man, just forever." This shit is, yeah, it's yeah. just literally forever. Like that shit will probably be on soundtracks for the end of time. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, somebody's getting paid off that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> they meet up. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, no, that shit cool. A lot of people always ask me about that shit. I'm just humbled out of the game. This is my first time ever talking about this deep on camera. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I know. So, Colleen, Texas, yeah, we got Killeen platinum and gold Texas. records out here. Hell yeah. So, let's talk about branding. I know you brand yourself as the stew god and everything mm-hmm. in Colleen and uh, worldwide. What's uh, what's next for, for the stew god as, as far as branding? Like, what do you got in the works? Man, it's too God. God's got to be everywhere like air. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. I'm just trying to expand everything. Yeah. And, and that's, that's like why I started t- this. T-shirts. This is what I'm trying to do. T-shirts, the brand emerge. Mm-hmm. And it's going to start a lot from this. It's going to be, I've already been branding myself. Just, oh, yeah, just straight definitely. through music. I built a brand. Just You already know. I mm-hmm. just built it like just solo. You know what I'm saying? Just, just grinding and doing shit. You did the same. You built your own brand too. So, yeah. But yeah, it's really about, everything's about merch and just like, it's just one big ass wrestling match. You just gotta like promote the wrestling match every day. That's right. I gotta like we got WrestleMania this weekend. We mm-hmm. gotta go. I gotta sell these shirts or SummerSlam, big ass UFC <laughs> or a boxing match or something's gonna be happening this weekend. We gotta promote this motherfucking shit. Mm-hmm. Sell this shit. Whoever's gonna buy into it, they're gonna rock with us, and we're gonna keep going. So do you see? So you keep referencing uh, wrestling. Do you see music more as entertainment? Oh, yeah, more yeah, than, yeah. More than exactly art. Is. Music is wrestling. Yeah. Modern day music will rap them. Shit I record and shit. I record more it's, than just rap though. But it's, it's wrestling though. It's wrestling. I see a lot of yeah. I'm, there's some real wrestlers. Yeah. There's real people. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of fake yeah, there's a lot of fake shit going on too, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But 
if you're getting paid and you're branding yourself the right way, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I don't like to use the word gimmick, but that's basically a what sh- all it stick. is now. That's all it is now. <laughs> yeah. It's just like- An angle. Come on now, bro. You got like people like Takashi in MMA bread. Yeah. It's like literally uh, just some just some shit. Mm-hmm. It's just some character. Like Vince McMahon was like, go put 69 on your whole face and body <laughs> and just be a fuck person. <laughs> and I guarantee you will get paid. I guarantee. It's a rock. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but- Six nine. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, that's that's, that's inter. But a, no, I just I just an analogy I use to the young talent I record because mm-hmm. that's how they understand it. Yeah, they're like, what I got to do, blow up and shit. I'm like, bro, it's like wrestling. Yeah, I mean, I know a lot of people don't watch wrestling; and it's fake and shit. I'm like, or boxing, mm-hmm. UFC, whatever it is, NFL, promote the shit, right? And then we'll just show up on game day and shit, which be your album, your song, your mm-hmm. video, whatever it is, just show up and be consistent. Yeah, just like a basketball team, just like a football player, just yeah. like a fighter. Nobody likes the fighter that lost four in a row. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. likes football team that lost five years in a row. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just be consistent. You can have football team can have hella potential or some shit. Like you said earlier. Yep. That shit can only go so far. Like, man, they got saw them them stars on the team, though. Like, they ain't working together though. Right. They ain't getting it right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So a lot of people got dead weight and shit around them and shit. You gotta cut a lot of toxic, like you told me, energy vampires off. They just yeah. be around sucking on you and shit. Yep. And you don't know I'm on. Pause. <laughs> pause. 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 I knew it was going to have one of them. But yeah, they just be around trying to take all your energy. Mm-hmm. And then you finally realize you're like, damn. And then you all drained I'm, out. I'm all draining weak. Yep. But I'm blade. I'm half human in this motherfucker. So <laughs> I'm walking around during the day on these boys. So I had day to bounce walker. back. My day walker had to bounce back during the day on them. Yeah. It's just an analogy, but. I like that. I like that as opposed to the, to everybody's, you know, well, for me, it's, you know, music is art. And so for you, it's entertainment. I, I like that. I mean, no, music, I, I never, no, 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 you know, man, I'm a, I'm just simplify my brain, mm-hmm. but it's like, I've come getting philosophy and all that and mm-hmm. art. You know, I know it's art. You know, I yeah, know that. No, 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 but I, I record a lot of music. So a lot of time I don't get touched. Mm-hmm. I'm not moved. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's just stuff to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of time. Yeah, but I have to also it's because I have to listen to it sonically though. Yeah, so I'm I, so I, a lot of times I'm listening to it sonically when I'm mixing and mastering, mm-hmm. and I'll hear what they're saying. Then and I'm like, ah, gotcha. Yeah, I fuck with this. Yeah, so it's like it's always art. It's yeah. art off rip when you come to the studio. Like mm-hmm. every time I got to catch myself. Like I can't tell this person this is no good or anything. I can't shit on a dream, especially when they're young. They got so much room to grow. Yeah, like man, it can be better in a year. People, it's bro. You can get thrown if you practice. Yeah. Like, but if a lot, of, it really comes down to this: you either got it or you don't. But if you got a little bit and you could be consistent, you can make it work. If you suck, you suck to me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna tell you that though, unless you ask me. I'll just say I don't fuck with it. It's not like my cup of tea. Cause so, it might be live to somebody else. So, so if you it got goes a back sorry, to that 10K ass, shit. If you got it a, wasn't all the way like we didn't think it was that dope. We just knew it was something different. Mm-hmm. I know I did. And he, I ain't gonna lie, I fucked with it because he let me do all my stutters and he didn't tell yeah. me to change anything. Yeah. And then, I, and then I, 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 I feel like with that. I feel like TK had that. He had that voice and he had that. that yeah, yeah that's that what spunk. It, yeah, he had just and like then, a different type of cadence in there. Mm-hmm. Was, like he just had spunk. Exactly yeah. what it was. Because a lot of people, some of the people in the studio today, they were was like mocking and playing around with it, but they was only hearing it without the beat. Mm-hmm. So it sounds funny when you don't hear it without the beat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But I'm like. I'm like, I'm, man, it's not, it don't suck. Right. You know, I'm like, this shit don't suck. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then that's why I said when I found his other videos, I'm like, this shit, this yeah. shit cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, yeah, the spunk, yeah, I like that word. You got to have spunk. Moxie. Moxie, <laughs> little Moxie. Well, y'all. It, little Maxie. What? I heard the track that you oh, did little with Maxie. little Maxie. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I did. I did that shit. Maxie. Like so, Maxie. yeah, she had posted it on uh, Instagram. And so I listened to it. And yeah. right then and then, well, you had. Oh, you knew so, I did it already? Yeah. <laughs> I already knew. I was like, but oh, you, but, but, but also, I for you, I don't know. It's literally my best friend since age of one. Yeah. Like, just <laughs> born, born, like, literally. So, of course, he's going to know I recorded it. Yeah. So, so um, yeah, don't know. Don't make it seem like, but a lot of people do know that, though. Be yeah. Like, I know who recorded this when I heard it. Yeah. No, nah, because. Not that song, but so, a lot of other songs. So, uh, whenever Yellow Beezy came out with that, uh, that track, Oh shit! Like the one that like everybody oh, knows. I hit you up. I hit you up, and I was like, "Did you record? Did this? you record this?" <laughs> <laughs> I 
I swear. And I was like, bitch, I wish, bitch. <laughs> because it was on, so it was on local radio. So I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know that it was like, I didn't know that it was something no, big. I was, I was flattered. And so I was, I was like, yo, did though. you I'm record like, this? Who's not that big? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, yo, did you record this? Oh, this nigga only been on for two years already. Yeah. And then I was just like, yo. Hey, when you're from Texas, you're always gonna be on local radio, though. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you're from Texas; mm-hmm. they're gonna squeeze you in there. So. Yeah, but you do have a you do have a distinct sound, and I feel like it's like a part of that modern music today. Yeah, yeah. you know, it was still my sound all the time. Yeah, it's all good though. Yeah, there's <laughs> only one me. Right, I can't record everybody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I can't answer all those stu God prayers in one day. That's right. Repent your sorry raps. <laughs> 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 Repent your sorry. I was I, like I was I was posting that. Repent your sorry raps. You know what I'm saying? It's still God forgives. To... It's still God forgives. Yeah. <laughs> That's going on a just, t-shirt. Just repent. That's bro. the next t-shirt right there. <laughs> just repent. <laughs> just know that you was trash at one point in time and just hang it up or give it a better effort. Mm-hmm. That's all I want. That's all God asked for. I'm not, I'm not. I'm, so, I'm still God though. So speaking of of also the Stu God is a figure of speech. It's not magic when you come to the studio. That's true. Because they be thinking it like it's magic. Like, mm-hmm. oh man, there's so many sad stories I can tell, but you, you're right now, man. Yeah. It's just not magic, guys. I'm sorry. Yeah. We'll have to come back on this podcast and you'll have to tell <laughs> yeah, me we'll, one we'll, of those we'll stories. Talk, we'll talk. Uh, we'll have an episode of his pure just uh, stew stories. Yeah. Stew stories. Stew stories. <laughs> yeah. Stew stories. Yeah. That's a good one. Uh, oh, the finals? The finals. Uh, How do you feel about the finals? The Celtics just lost last night, right? It's two yep, and two. Two and two. I spit in my mouth and shit. Slubbing a sucker to ass out here. But yeah, two and two. I know you mad at the finals because Dallas lost. Yeah. I had to bring that up. That yeah. was on my mind today. I had to bring that up, though. I, was yeah. like, I had to bring up Dallas losing. Mavericks fan for life. Yeah, because this nigga's it's from me. Dallas slash Colleen. <laughs> yeah. Born in Dallas, raised in Colleen. Mm-hmm. Um, so Steph Curry scored thir- 43 points last night, and they only won by 10 points. So I feel like, I don't know, I think. Celtics got the edge because oh no, but look, I watched it. I watched the game, yeah. And I was it was like a whole series was with Celtics was just looking crazy dumb, stealing the ball. Oh yeah, and then the Celtics and Warriors looking like stupid, doing mm-hmm. stupid mistakes, and then that's, out of nowhere, that's Steph, that three though. Yeah, that's that three. I know. So I'm thinking like, in order for the Warriors to win, Steph's got to put up 40 points. I ain't mean to get like dark or anything, but I got to switch it up. All right, so. You heard about the Deshaun Watson shit going on? Yeah, the allegations. Yeah, allegations and shit. Yeah. So I'm only bringing it up. I hope it's not true and stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't want that to be true on nobody right, of right. color. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But talk about having a good ass legal team. If so, like 200 million plus guaranteed. Guaranteed. And I don't, bro, if they already signed a contract, I'm pretty sure I've been watching football a long time. It's that literally money's guaranteed. Already, that that like, money's already so there. So you sign it, like, it's good. I don't got to play no more. Like, yeah. man, that's tough. That's some OJ shit. Minus some murder and shit. Nah, I don't even want to compare it to that. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's for another. I'm that's sorry, for another sorry, podcast. Sorry, sorry, that's for another episode. Because that's way more money. That's '90s money, OJ money. That's mm-hmm. some murder. Whew. I didn't yeah. even get that dark, but yeah, Cowboys going Super Bowl though. Yeah, you stay. You stay near right here. No, nah, I'm just saying. I gotta say, <laughs> it. I gotta say, even though I've been less invested in my boys for the longest of time, I, I guess I'll say they go to Super Bowl. How you feel about Dak? Hang on. If it, if, I'm gonna put I mean, it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. You know how much I love the football and shit. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you the truth. You know I'm a UFC. I love UFC. It didn't consume my life. Yeah. It took me away from football. Mm. So I can't even like I'm not that much invested in I'm Dallas, that's Dallas Cowboys for life, but I'm not much invested in the boys like I used to. If the if they lose, they lose. I'm not finna go like I, I'm more be invested in the fight. This fight tonight, I'm more invested in these fights tonight. Mm-hmm. And whatever lose, whoever win, I'm just heartbroken tonight. And then tomorrow I'm good. I ain't gotta be heartbroken constantly. 16, 17, 18 <laughs> games. Right? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel about like all the people we look up to be getting old? Man. That we looked up to. Like Man. This, this, this. Okay, it's, the, it's the weird first in a good way. I would say this the only saying in a good way, because like the Mike Tyson shit, yeah. that's just dope. Seeing yeah. Mike Tyson like yeah. that's like just makes me just be like yeah, like, man, I want to be like Mike. Right. Like he done did overcame everything, jail, rape allegations. Yeah. I'd have bit a nigga ear off in the fucking right ring. <laughs> I think the I think the first time that I felt like my childhood was gone was see uh, that's a, that's a, I got to talk to you about that too. You got to like stop labeling us like 
I know we are our age, but we, we can't like do it like that though. Cause I, I feel what you be saying, but I don't feel like that though. Yeah. I also don't have any kids and shit, but I'm saying like, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm like- That and- I don't have any kids. So I'm like, stop like putting yourself- I don't, like, it, Bro, the UFC, UFC light heavyweight champion in fights tonight, uh -huh. he won the title at age 43. And That's he's dope. defending the whole tonight. That's dope. So I'm like, bro, when he did that shit- I was on my Kevin Garnett shit. Anything is possible. Right, right. No, I just feel like because like who I get in the studio, who I, it's it's oh, all yeah. it's all younger. So I feel like I oh, I'm see, the oldest look, person. See, but, look. but yeah, you've been you just started like open your shit back up to the public again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like you was just in in how doing your thing, sending your shit out. Mm -hmm. You open back up to the public again. Yeah, remember I, when I opened my shit back up to the public like eight years ago. Mm -hmm. It was the same. I had to yeah. like, I had to adapt. But once you like grasp it, mm -hmm. we smart it's, as fuck. It's like, oh, it's just all I did was channel all the young cats into what we did. And it was like, oh, this just means this. It's the same. Yeah. It's all the same. It's just repeat, rinse, and wash, but it's just different. Different lingo. generation. It's just the same. Yeah. But when you're in the studio, it, I'm forever hip. Yeah. People come here you, and think I'm like younger than I am. Like, I'm forever hip. It's not even catch on to it. It's just like, you would catch on to it too. It's like, oh, this what this. Ah, oh, this so shit you, easy. So you feel forever young? No, I don't feel forever young. I am forever young. No, okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I am forever young. Eh? No Kevin Costner. <laughs> oh, Mel Gibson. I'm sure yeah. that movie would not hold up today. Today, <laughs> when we rewatch Forever Young, that shit probably look horribly CGI. <laughs> Not even CGI. It probably look like CGI. Though. Fuck around with uh, what movies? It's the last dope movie you watched, nigga. I talk about regular shit. People would talk about man. I watched that. I watched that Doctor music. Strange too. I ain't watched it yet. My attention fan is it was not, trash. It was not that. It wasn't attention it. Man is trash, bro. It so I, I watched. It I, was overhyped. I watched an hour of Sonic Two last night. Just because it's Sega N nostalgia. Yeah, <laughs> nostalgia. <laughs> just because it's easy. Just, Only because I sleepy. I would have finished it. Mm -hmm. Just because Sega. You already yeah. know the, the man, you ain't no sure. emeralds and fucking soundtrack. Yep. Jim Carrey is the fucking yeah. No. Come on. Yeah. So I was like, I was like Tails sound like Tails. Yeah. I was like, what? Yeah. But I was asleep. Yeah, I went to sleep. Right. You know what I'm saying? I but yeah, I was trying to watch that. But yeah, mm -hmm. I'm more of a, like a YouTube 15 minute video, 12 minutes, eight minutes. What are you watching? Like, what is, what is. I watch Steven Strangles People. I've been watching that dude. What lately. the fuck is that? He just like. Do, Steven he does, Strangles People? He does people? like UFC, like, re, uh, and like, 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 oh, bully. He'll roast like the bully beatdowns because he like teaches jujitsu and shit on his mm -hmm. Patreon and shit. So he, he's, he's a real life like like instructor, yeah. but he's funny and shit. But he'll like watch old videos of like uh, Bully Beatdown, old UFC. Oh, and he'll break it down. Oh, yeah, he'll break it down, but like in funny and cool way. Mm -hmm. Or he'll do bum bum fights. Oh yeah, <laughs> no bum fight. Bullshito. He calls it Bullshito, like them fake instructors. Oh, so he'll oh, roast okay. them. So okay. that's what got me into him and shit. Oh yeah, but other than that, that's the only thing on my playlist, bro. That and some emo ass. Shit. Sad music. I mean, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, so what's on my playlist? Like, what I be jamming? Yeah, what's on your playlist? Ah, you wouldn't even know what I be jamming, man. Really, yeah, I jam true. shit I record. <laughs> 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 I just jam shit I record mainly, though. And I jam like uh, Corbin, the spooky black. You know what that is? Mm -hmm. Look him up. Spooky black. Big emo vibe. Spooky black. Okay. Yeah, you wouldn't even know I jam that. But yeah, I jam that. I jam. Uh, Retro shit, that's it. Yeah. I'll jam some. What kind of retro game. shit? Like eighties? Man, I'll jam I'll jam eighties shit all day. I'll jam shit like uh <laughs> Do you think you're better off alone? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't demonetize me yeah. too, but yeah. But I'll jam shit like that, nigga. What you talking about? I'll jam LaBouche. LaBouche. La <laughs> yeah. Be my lover. Yeah. <laughs> Be my lover. Yeah, I'll jam all that. <laughs> I jam all that shit that we used to swim to when we was kids oh, in the damn. summertime. You know, all them shits. Damn. Hey, this was just off shit. like some random shit. Remember we was in your pool one time and there was like bats on a on a oh, le shit. electricity pole? Yeah. This just came to me because summertime. Yeah. yeah. And we that were like, the uh, fuck? Did we get out that pool? Hell no. Nah. Nah. We was in there until like 2 a.m. Yeah, they'd come. They'd swoop and drink some water bro, and shit. Bro, we, <laughs> we was in the hood in a pool, bro. Yeah. It was a bow ground pool, so chill out. But yeah. I'm saying, I had a bow ground pool. He had a bow ground pool. But like, my fun. mom didn't let me swim late. His mom let us swim late. 
Yeah, because it was right out there in the backyard. Yeah, it was so like, like right there on the like, lights. His mom was there. Like, my mom be asleep. So that's why I could be up over there late with it. But I just, I don't know why I thought about that. That's just summertime vibes. Like, yeah. Summertime also, vibes. I got to go swimming this year. I didn't go swimming last summer. Yeah. You went swimming last summer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we uh, went to the beach and we went to the lake. My girls, my girls, tequila on my, <laughs> my girls love the water. So oh, we, we oh, stay. So super berry, though. Super berry, man. That an awesome, man. I thought that said Spurberry. No, it's Superberry. 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 And Uncle Wax on the hat, man. Trouble don't last. Shout out Uncle Wax. And shout out Electro Shop. Electric Shop. This is Electric Shop. I know. I said Electro because I thought about Jamie Foxx. I'm sorry. Jamie Foxx? Yeah. That's a Texas treasure right there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I just thought Electro was really not a bad. (laughs) Really not a bad. I I like anything Jamie Foxx is in. Ray, yo, that movie was. Bro, you're right, because I even like Held Up. You ever seen Held Up? Held Up. But he's like in that, literally just in a convenience store, the whole movie. Nah, I ain't seen that. Being Held Up. <laughs> I gotta watch that. You gotta watch, I gotta it. watch it's it. It's really not bad, though. It's Jamie, not bad. Jamie Foxx is a Texas treasure. Willie Beeman. That's right. He keeps the ladies screaming. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Think you could defeat him? You're dreaming. You're dreaming. Right, but, I, but but also, June's an interesting character. Like a whole bunch of shit growing up that he would just be super good at and shit. And just like, it's yeah. like a whole bunch of shit. He had like so many like eras. Like June's just like a chameleon. Yeah. He just adapts to anything. Just like, yeah. Yeah, it's whatever. Forever changing. Yeah. Hey, June had the first, in, from our era, the first like chain made with our record label. <laughs> Other than like Green City and shit. But like, it was just like Green City and then June. Green City Fair Time in June. That's dope. That's a big coffee spill. Super litty. You just know you're going to be on the first episode, so you got to appear every four. Just, That's just, our hood. Yep. That's our hood. You got to appear every four. Down for that. At least every four. At least. But, or I was going to say, you you appear for the uh, the Stew Story episode. Stew Stories. I like that. Stew Stories. Yeah, I, I, I super like that. <laughs> I yeah. super like that. It's going to be an easy-ass podcast. Uh, also, so June lives in Austin, so... Mm-hmm. What's fuck be uh, you be eating out there? Like, what's that good ass shit? Not that, not that, not that you've been out there for a decade. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, not that motherfucking Bougie tourist shit. shit. Not that I just uh, read the review. Nothing. I'm talking about that shit. Uh, shit, I fuck with this one uh, Asian place. It's called uh, China Palace. It's got like the best, they, they got like a bunch of bougie Chinese spots in Austin. Yeah. But this one is like oh, hole you, in the wall. It reminds you of the, of the, of the cave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Even uh, we put get some bad <laughs> comments on that one. They were like, ew, you said that? Yeah. Mind you, we from Colleen, yeah. though, man. We from Colleen. China so. Palace. It's on airport. I eat that shit. That shit is amazing. I eat that shit. I love that I don't that know shit. where I, I One time I was in Austin. We did a show. I was with JP mm-hmm. and our homeboy. All I remember was like, it's 5 a.m. The sun was out. We're barely going home. Went to like, it was a store. It was like a taco place on the side of a store. I ate the best barbacoa in my entire life at 5 a.m. They got a lot of those. But I, I don't know. That's what I'm like, yeah. I can't even <laughs> find it. I can't they got even a find lot it. Of those. And this is when I was Xanax top of hey. the game. So I'm on Xanax. I'm drunk. Yeah. I'm like, all I remember was a barbacoa. <laughs> should, them be the best tacos. Bro, bro. they were the best. best tacos. Oh, one time, bro, we rode around with Genesis. And I'm like, how you from Austin? We got lost trying to find some tacos. <laughs> i never forget it. I ate some. I ate too many Alpastores and I hurled Quinn and Moza. <laughs> Not Harley Quinn. I hurled Quinn and Moza. So look, man. First episode, success. Success. Shout out to June the Introvert. Hey, shout out to what's happening, Steve. Hey, Stu got shit on the way, merch, all that. Yep. Everything gonna be in the little description, man. The little description, man. The That's little right. paragraph y'all do, man. So it should be on Apple Music, all this other goofy shit. But yeah. Hope y'all fucking enjoy this shit. Share this shit. Like and subscribe. All that other goofy shit. Tap in ski. Fee, 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 fee.